nice belly, you fat. What? Can't figure out what her story is. One day I want to find out, and I want to see if there's any way we can help her. Like to see you run a mile. Who does that? Story time. Final year of midget double A, Herb Carnegie Arena for the finals. The grade 11 and 12 boys playing in this game had their friends come to watch. They sat behind the other team's penalty box. A player on the other team took a penalty and got sent to the said penalty box. Being 17-year-old boys, they started to chirp the player in the penalty box. The suspended players and siblings of the other team did not like that, so they immediately rushed over and sat right beside the friend. They soon started chirping each other. Enter the hockey mum. The unpleased hockey mum voiced her displeasure. Coach's son was in the group of friends. Coach was sitting elsewhere but came over when he saw what was transpiring. And he too got in a conversation with the supporters of the other team. Hockey mom decided she wanted to put an end to it, so she made a call. The person she called, who was not at the rink, quickly came over and entered the building. He immediately went to Coach to discuss what was happening. For storytelling purposes, Coach is my buddy Mark, who subsequently will be called Coach. The fellow whom Hockey Mom called in will be Big Huge Hockey Dad, or subsequently BHHD. Warning, today's vlog is about to dive headfirst into the shallow end in five, four, three. You call him out of the 17 year old, David. I'll you, you want to call him out of the Before you come running no, over the church, I didn't say let's go outside. Oh, oh, Again, tell your story straight. Get your story straight. Get your story straight. Get your story straight. Get your Okay, I watched that no less than 20 times over the last couple days. And I was speechless at first, but I've come to a couple conclusions and couple takeaways on this. First, coach, that was incredible. That was so brave of you to stick up to that guy. I would have been running out of that place. It scared the shit out of me looking at him and he got right in your face and you just didn't back down. You actually stood up to him and even got a little bit aggressive right in his face. You found yourself in a situation you didn't want to be in, but you answered the bell. Your son and his buddies got themselves in a 17, 18 year old boy situation. My son was part of that crew as well. And you unfortunately were there and had to answer the bell. And that you really, really did. Another takeaway from this is how BHHD handled this. His kid or a friend or whatever it was, was also in a predicament that Hockey Mom wasn't comfortable with. So BHHD hustled there and got there as soon as he can. He stepped up to the plate as well and did what he needed to do. His method is maybe a little bit different than how I would have handled it, but that's the way he knew how to handle it. He wanted to be aggressive and get this over with quick. His plan A was to have Coach be intimidated and run away. Plan A didn't work because Coach didn't back down. But BHHD was quick to go to plan B. He didn't really want to fight. He would have fought for sure. But when Coach didn't back down, he was left in a situation where now he had to get in a fight. And he was smart enough to realize that he didn't want to really get in a fight and have to deal with police reports and all the shit that comes with it. At the end of the day, this is two guys who didn't want to be in this situation. They were called into it and they did their job.
They answered the bell, they did what they had to do, and they did it well. It was like two dogs or two raccoons fighting. It sounded a lot worse than it probably was. My compliments to you, BHHD, and you, Coach, for handling that incredibly well. Those 17-year-old dumbasses who started it, they owe you guys both the beer. Or five. Or maybe ten.